Punk is a future-facing agency that prides itself on never producing the same solution for any client twice. And so we were looking for a corporate identity and that reflected that. Dynamic identities, you know, they've been around and we've seen a lot of great examples. What we realized was there was still an element of control. Pure uniqueness happens in one particular environment and that's nature. The question was how do we apply nature to a corporate identity? And the only real answer was to look at the intrinsic building blocks of nature, which is genetics. If you take the example of a human face, two eyes, a nose, a mouth and two ears are actually what allows you to recognize something as a face. The letters P, U, N and K were all we really needed To avoid using a particular framework, we actually wanted to create a starting point. So our solution was basically to create a software ecosystem that can generate, based on genetic algorithms, constantly new corporate identity instances for all the different output formats and replicate it infinitely. So basically we got them to shag. To stop. If you created one set which was a father, so that was a combination of a typeface and a visual style, and a mother which was a different typeface and a visual style, if you allowed those two things to mate, their child that they produced would contain elements of each, but would be something entirely new. We needed to get the ball rolling and then take our hands off the wheel, and to do that we created an Adam and Eve generation that once we'd put them into their world and pressed the button, that was it. What, what would happen from then on was out of our control and would go on infinitely. Now obviously corporate identity isn't only a logo type. We applied a similar approach to how that layout and how that secondary text would be applied to all our output elements, be they business cards, letterheads, email signatures, Word documents. So in conclusion, what we ended up creating was a corporate identity that evolved, that is constantly evolving.